everyone, it's Tiberius, the queer and chaotic crafter. I didn't really have a plan for this video. Um, I just wanted to do some mixed media art, so uh, I just started doing stuff, and I didn't record over it. It took me about four days to make this, because I kept having to wait for layers to dry, and also I've just been really depressed, so I haven't really gotten around to doing much crafting. I think you guys have found the pattern of how it goes. I'll post something for like a week straight and then two weeks go by and there's nothing. Um, but I do do my best to post content and just film when I'm doing stuff. What I did was I pretty much just smeared paint on different uh, pieces of paper and uh, I used my like brightest colors that I could and I just splashed the paint on the paper and just different patterns and then smushed the papers together to get off the excess paint and to make sure paint got everywhere. Um, I want you guys to know that it is really hard to edit in the sound after I've sped the footage up um, because it just jumps around different places and it doesn't actually keep speed with what I'm recording. I keep having to like pause and then restart um, so just so the footage catches up with where I am with the voice recording. It's really weird. I really need a better uh, footed video editor. Um, if anybody has recommendations, uh, please leave them down below. I'm using the VN Media Player, uh, our video now, I believe it's called. Uh, video editor and it's a free program so I'm not you know terribly upset but um, I wish that I had more control over like how big the screen is when it films because it actually cuts the screen down which is why I have so much trouble uh, showing what I'm doing when I pull stuff close to me like, that's in the camera shot when I'm working on it originally, but then I put it through this editor and it cuts it off. Um, what I did next was I tore apart all the paper. I don't even know if I'm on that part yet, but I tore up all the paper. And uh, I didn't wait for it to dry terribly much. Uh, I definitely advise making it, letting it dry before you try and do this. And... Uh, I took all the paper and I took a Dollar Tree poster board and I began to attach the paper to the poster board. After I glued all the pieces to the poster board, I used Mod Podge to glue them our Mod Podge, however you say it. I want to call it Mod Podge, but that's not right. <laughs> But uh, I got all the pieces gl uh, glued down, and then uh, I started to paint black around the outside of each piece that I had glued down. Boy, do I hope this records correctly, because I just paused it to see, and apparently I haven't gotten to that part yet. But in a minute, I'm going to start painting <laughs> black around each individual piece. Um... And then I'm going to let it dry. I do let it dry before I start putting the black paint on. So I let it dry, put the black paint on. And then I mod podged over where I would put the black paint. And uh, it was a very tedious process. But it, it felt very good for me to do. Because I haven't just gotten to just make art for the sake of it. I've been, well, this is going to be for junk journals, but like without, you know, having to force it into a journal. I used a hairdryer to uh, dry between the layers, but I wish I had just been patient and let it dry on its own because uh, it got a little sticky because I didn't let it dry on its own. So there's a downside to that, to not being patient. I still was pretty patient because it took me four days, but 
it was a while and uh this is me just wiping up the excess glue and then i painted over it round it with black i actually don't know what square footage i'm on right now because i haven't paused in a while to see if i'm still on track all right uh i'm back i paused it i'm still just tracing in black i feel like i'm going so slow this is sped up but i feel like i'm so slow and I pretty much did this for every layer when I did separate my pieces that I tore up. I put the brightest pieces aside to do to use last or the pieces I like the most to do last. So I wanted to make sure they shown they showed through. Um uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to think of things to say. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna, I have no idea where anything is. This is complicated. I, I don't even want to record voice record because <laughs> I've just been so stressed out. Pretty much what I did is I Mod Podge the pieces of paper to the poster board and then covered each ripped piece with black paint. And then I did the same thing again with the second layer. I put the pages I ripped on top of it. And then I painted around each one of those with a layer of black paint. And then third layer, I did the exact same thing. And then at, at the last part, I just added some different things to it. And just what I thought would be good ephemera for somebody who wants something a little different. I will be posting this on my eBay shop for sale uh the pieces i make today if anyone is interested i will link that down below so yeah um, that's pretty much how i did it uh so for the next like 19 minutes or so i'm just going to talk about my problems because it's too complicated to keep up with the video and i think those who are familiar with my channel know not to follow along as i do things because i am not I don't know the word. Uh, very chaotic. Yes, I'm very chaotic. So you can just wait till the end. It's just nice to watch the time lapse. Wish I had a made had a way to make it faster because I feel like I go so slow, like just in general. Um, but even like when I speed up the the time, it feels like I'm going so slow. Um, but anyway, I've been under a lot of stress because I'm getting married in a couple months and like weddings are expensive, so expensive. Like, and we did this the cheapest way possible and it's still expensive. It's, it is not, we did not plan for it to be this expensive. And it's, it's just been a lot of stress. So when I'm not filming or cleaning or crying <laughs> i'm doing wedding stuff and i'm still not done with doing wedding stuff it's everything is made by me all the decorations are made by me um i still have to go outside and spray paint some stuff uh still have to get more supplies still have to get the wine glasses still have to get more plates and whatnot and napkins and gotta pay for the tables and chairs it's just a lot to go through um when we're trying to move at the same time i'm kind of tempted to link my registry down at the bottom of this to see if anyone would be willing to donate to the moving fund so i can get out of tennessee probably not because i feel like there's there's probably information private information on there and it's probably not something you should post publicly i don't know i'm not gonna risk it anyway ebay shop yeah i started an ebay shop it's only got a couple things on there so far um i sold a lot of ephemera on there like 28 pieces uh stuff that i had made in previous videos um so i sold that and i'm i also got some other ephemera in there for sale i've only got two pieces and then I'll have this piece today that is done. Um, 
yeah, man. Just... Everything sucks. Like, it doesn't suck. It's just, it's stressful and it's a lot. Like, my craft room has gone to hell in a handbasket. I can't find anything anymore. I, I, like, I kept... Uh, I kept, I was doing the Christmas project for my mother-in-law, her future mother-in-law, soon-to-be mother-in-law, and uh, got a good portion through that. I need to show you guys an update of what I've gotten done so far. But then I stopped and started making the one for my sister, which is, like, huge as fuck. Um, so, I'm, I don't know. I'm, Am I not supposed to be cursing on YouTube? Because I don't actually know. I just, I try not to, but it pops out every once in a while. It's like a compulsion, almost. Also, I am rambling today. Like, I've just had no focus. And I took my ADHD meds, but I don't feel like I did. Because I'm just all over the place. I think it's because my space... I'm a very organized person, and I think it's because my space is not organized, and my house is not clean like it should be, that I'm just feeling so overwhelmed. Um, but I was determined to get this footage up today. I've actually had it done for, like, since of three days ago I finished it, but and edited it and everything, but didn't do the voiceover. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, I'm really excited about the wedding. Like, I love uh, my partner very much. And uh, I'm excited to be experiencing life with her. Uh, just as long as it's good for both of us, you know? Like, we didn't want to have till death do us part on our vows because we plan on staying together you know forever but we want a clause in there that just says you know as long as it's healthy because if a relationship gets unhealthy i don't want either of us to stay in it or it uh, for us to get like counseling if it comes to that and if counseling doesn't work I want it to not be, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just, we wanted to do it as long as it was healthy, you know? I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I'm actually having trouble writing my vows because writing out how much you love some per someone, someone is just really difficult like how can you put in just a few sentences how amazing someone is and i've been pretty stuck with those i have a little bit so far uh, i am gonna record the wedding and probably upload it here so you guys can see it and actually see what i look like um but yeah. I paused it to see where we were in the footage so I knew how much time I had left, and I don't even remember what I was just talking about. I'm supposed to be going to a neurologist for how bad my memory is. And my, my memory is terrible. I don't remember what I did yesterday. Um, I have a good idea what I did yesterday, but I don't actually remember it. Uh... It's very annoying to not be able to remember things because it's everyone thinks I'm just not paying attention and it's just no dude my memory's just really bad. I'm not trying to for like ignore you or not listen to you. I just I don't remember. I like as it's like as soon as something is told to me, it's just it I heard it but it didn't register and it's just gone. You know, in one ear, out the other, as they say. But it's not intentional. Sometimes I feel bad about it, but 
you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing I can really do to control it. But the wedding's going to be fun. And everybody better have lots of fun because it was very expensive. So, I'll be a little disappointed if everyone just eats and leaves. Um, I want people to dance. I definitely want people to dance. And have fun. I know I'm going to be dancing and having fun. So I just paused it again to see where exactly we were in the video. And what I'm cutting out now is somebody traded me these things. It was in like a blind trade kind of thing. And I think they're stamped on just stamps on paper. In case you're wondering what they were or where to get them which I don't know where to get them. I just traded it. I like to trade things. Like, I love trading things. Um, I did try to cut these with a hole punch at one point, but they're too hard because of all the Mod Podge. You probably... Well, not probably. I know you could have. You could have done it without layering the Mod Podge like I did. Like, you could have just used a glue stick, painted around it with black, used a glue stick again, painted around with black, and then maybe at the end, maybe one final coat of Mod Podge, but I don't even really think you'd need it. So next time I'm going to not Mod Podge so much. Yeah, I think I'll definitely not Mod Podge so much. Um... Yeah, I've said it, I think I've said it twice so far on this uh, voiceover here, but I feel like I just move so slow. Like, I hate it. Like, I feel like that every time I go to edit footage. I'm like, why am I going so slow? I'm either, like, it's like I'm either going too slow or I'm not talking enough. So it feels extra slow. Um... Most of the time, I don't actually, you know, even know what I'm going to talk about. A lot of these tutorials have just been, hey, I'm going to do this today and hoping it works. <laughs> I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy. Um, I think the wedding's the only thing I've ever really just planned out, planned out. Well, I plan out vacations. I'm good at planning vacations. I wish, like, vacation planner was still a job. Uh, I d I'm pretty sure it's not a job anymore because, you know, Hotels.com and whatever the other ones are exist now and you can just get cheap flights and hotels um, on your own and you can just Google anything to research about a place. Um, but if I could, I would love to... I would love to uh be a vacation planner like i think it would be such a cool job to have um and i would get a chance to just research everything there is to know about a place and that is always really fun i like new things to hyper focus on and i love to learn i think i could specialize in doing like neurodivergent uh travel wait uh i've already forgotten what it's called that's how bad my memory is uh travel I mean, no that's not the right word i don't remember the word that i just said for travel person but i could work with neurodivergent travel planner oh my god travel guide no travel is a travel planner i don't know anywho I would uh, help plan for neurodivergent folks, uh, find quiet places for them to decompress, you know, uh, different areas where they're going, where they can decompress, where they can get air conditioner, where all the bathrooms are, um, you know, how to pace themselves on, uh, on a vacation, that sort of thing. I did it uh, once for a trip to... Gatlinburg, because we're we're all pretty much 
ADHD or autistic. Uh, and uh, everyone was really impressed that went and they said it was good. They didn't feel like how they went felt like when they went on vacation with family, like they didn't feel rushed or pressured to do too much. And that really made me happy. I'm currently putting tissue paper over the pieces that I just made. Um, oh, no, actually, I'm just putting stamps down, but that white stuff is tissue paper. Um, the first time I tried to stamp it, the first one I stamped it, I put Mod Podge over the tissue paper, and it was too slick for the stamp to stick. So I made sure to just not do that with that. And, uh... Yeah. I think I only ended up making four pieces, which was two mushroom ones and uh, a heart, and then the one with the bunnies on it. But I had fun making these because I didn't have to think too hard, and I just kind of did stuff, you know? I think it's good to every once in a while just create something just to create it. Like, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to go with something. Just, just make something. Just give something the right to exist in the world. Well, that just about wraps it up. Please like, subscribe, and share. Check out my shop. You can find me on Instagram. I'll link all that down below. Y'all have stay chaotic.